what's up YouTube so I'm just gonna make a video quick on how to replace your wheel bearings in your trailer because one of mine went and I'm doing it so I figured I'd just do a video all right here we go all right next we're gonna break all the lugs loose on this thing make sure you have the right size so you don't strip them all right so now that all your lug nuts are off gonna jack the trailer up get the tire off so I already have my jack set up under there right on the axle all right we're gonna get the tire off <clears throat> wipe away the grease so you can see the cotter pin on the front of this bearing there it is okay I need those pliers and get this cotter pin out Try to make these as straight as you can. On the other side. So I'm putting the needle nose pliers through the loop of the cotter pin. I'm just gonna lightly tap the pliers. To get the pin out. There we go. Next we're gonna take some channel locks. Get your crown nut off. This is not on here tight at all, and it's like that on purpose. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on the bearings once they get hot. All right, and then this whole piece just slides off. There's a washer right here. Just make sure it doesn't go in the dirt. Take your washer out. Need that, and this is garbage. All right, you need to clean up the old grease with an old shirt or a rag or something off this spindle. <clears throat> Just like this. You want to make sure that this metal that the bearings ride on is very clean. And there's no dirt or spurs or anything that can mess up those bearings on there all right next i'm going to hit the spindle with a little bit of sandpaper just to clean some of this grime off here this is very very fine sandpaper so you don't want to really score up the spindle at all you're just cleaning it Cleaning the dirt off and stuff. All right, now you're gonna wipe this one last time. All right, so now we're gonna pack the bearings. This is just marine lithium grease. Put some gloves on. This stuff is gonna get everywhere. So this is the dust cap that they give you in the kit. This is garbage. You use uh, bearing buddies. It's like a different piece you gotta buy, but they're like 20 bucks with the grease fitting and it pushes the grease into the bearing with a spring. So definitely well worth the 20 bucks. Hopefully only have to do this once every four or five years. So it's worth it to have the better parts. So this is your bearing, the front bearing. It spins on there and you wanna get all this grease and pack it into this bearing. So you want the bearing to be have grease inside so you're shoving it up underneath like that next I'm gonna do the back one So 
So all in between here where the rolls are. That's what you want to get the grease in. All right, so now you're going to put the back bearing in first. Make sure that this, it's all covered in grease good. It's going to sit right in that metal ring. It's called a race. So you're going to put it, drop it right in there. Then I like to put some grease, more grease between the bearing and the gasket before you tap the bearing in, the gasket in. So this is your gasket. You're just gonna tap it in nice and easy with the hammer, it just sits right inside there. Just nice and gentle, you don't wanna mess up the gasket. So you want this flush with the back of the hub. I'm gonna take a little dab of grease, put it on the gasket. Just so it makes a good seal. And then this goes on the spindle. Push it all the way back. That's nice and tight. Take your next bearing. This one goes in the front. So the smaller side faces in. Sits in the race. Just like that. All right, so next piece to go in is your washer. Holds that bearing in. All right, so next piece goes on. Crown nut. You wanna make sure there's no sand or debris or anything like that. And this pushes the washer in and holds all the bearings tight. Next, you're going to want to tighten this to push all the bearings in tight together. And then once it's tight, you're going to spin this. See how hard it is to spin? Make it a little tighter. Push all those bearings in. Now it's locked. And you want to back it off so that the bearing can spin. This should be hand tight, even that's too tight. So you want to tighten it to make it push all the bearings together, then loosen it. It should just be hand tight like that. Next, we're going to put this cotter pin. There's a hole in the end of the spindle that you got to find. Sometimes the crown nut's covering the hole. Tap it in with the hammer. You helping? Yeah. Then you just bend the cotter pins back over the crown nut. that so I'm packing the inside of this bearing buddy with a little bit of grease before it goes on so this is red Loctite you put a little bit of this around just to make a better seal there's no threads on this it's just to make a better seal for the water so then this cup just goes over here like this and gets tapped on with the hammer All right, so I had to put an edge on this one. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hit it with the grinder because it wasn't going in smooth. I was hitting it with the hammer and it was just walking back and forth. This is just supposed to go right in here. Let's see if it works now. All right, so the last step, I'm gonna take a grease gun with the same lithium marine grease, pop it on the fitting and you're gonna till this black cap pushes against the spring. When the black cap starts coming back towards you, you know there's enough in there. Let's pop it on. So the grease is coming out of this hole. 
It means there's plenty in there. The spring will push it back and compress it till the grease drips out. And that's it. All right, then you can put your caps on over the end of the bearing, buddy. And that's pretty much it. Just put your tire on, you're good to go.